Have you ever pondered the origins of the very device you are using to watch this video? It's a fascinating journey that dates back to the early 20th century. In the next three minutes, embark on a whirlwind tour through the history of the personal computer. It all began in the 1930s with a machine called the Turing machine, developed by British mathematician Alan Turing. This device, though rudimentary by today's standards, laid the groundwork for the machines we use today. Fast forward to the late 1940s and we have the ENIAC, or the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. This behemoth of a machine, occupying an entire room, marked the dawn of the computer age. The 1950s saw the advent of the transistor, a game-changer in the world of technology. This tiny device replaced the bulky vacuum tubes, making computers smaller, faster, and cheaper. In the 1960s, computers took another leap forward with the introduction of the Integrated Circuit, or IC. This technology paved the way for the development of the microprocessor in the following decade. The 1970s was a pivotal decade in the history of computers. This was when the first personal computer, the Altair 8800, was introduced. It was also the decade that saw the birth of Apple Inc., a company that would revolutionize the industry in the years to come. The 1980s and 90s were decades of rapid development. Computers became increasingly affordable and user-friendly, leading to their widespread use in homes and offices. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we see the rise of smartphones and tablets, devices that have taken the concept of the personal computer to a whole new level. In summary, the journey of the personal computer, from the Turing machine in the 1930s to the smartphones of today, is a testament to human ingenuity and innovation. It's a journey that has transformed our lives in countless ways, and it's a journey that continues to this day. Who knows what the future holds? Perhaps in a few decades, we'll be reminiscing about the ancient computers of the early 21st century.